Hey Mob, welcome back to Deadly Kindies. I'm Kim from the Deadly Kindies team and today we are here making bug snacks out of healthy fruit and vegetables. We have one of our Deadly Choice ambassadors today. Thanks Kim, I'm Talisha, Deadly Choices Ambassador and Institute for Urban Indigenous Health Speech Pathologist. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. Before we get into our bug snack activity, we would like to engage in an acknowledgement of country. Here is the land and here is the sky. Here are my friends and here am I. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we play, learn and discover. Let's get into it. So today we have quite a variety of insect snacks on our chopping board. Which one do you think you'll get into? I think I'm going to try the one right up the front. Um, to me, I reckon that looks like a bit of a, a bit of a wriggly worm. So uh, it looks like it's made of blueberries and strawberry, which are two of my favorites. If you joined us in our last video, you would have seen this worm in our book, Backyard Bugs. I'm going to do, I think, a small caterpillar, which has grapes and strawberries, and I love some grapes. So I'm gonna get some grapes awesome. and a small skewer. If you're at home, you might need your mum or your dad or Nan or Pop to help you, because the ends of these are a little bit sharp. Awesome, and one of my favorite things to do with some of our kids in our, in our speech pathology groups is to try and list or name as many bugs as we can. So we might have a competition some days to see how many bugs we can name, how many insects we can name. Um, and a lot of times the kids know so many, um, there's some creepy crawly ones out there too that I'm a bit scared of. But caterpillars and, and worms, I, I love those ones. I can deal with those ones. We sometimes when where in early childhood settings, we have worm farms. And when you're having your lunch, you can put all of your scraps back into that worm farm and feed the worms. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm gonna reach past over here. That's okay. And I think I've finished my first one. How do you think that looks? That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. Really, really cool. And I think that's the thing too, is making activities like this really fun, um, getting our little ones really comfortable with food, touching food, um, getting a bit messy sometimes, that can be good as well. Uh, I think sometimes we, we try and clean up mess and clean up food mess really, really quickly, but it's nice, I think, for, for little ones to explore and to touch and feel different textures and, and different foods. I think that's very important. My son loves to get yogurt everywhere, absolutely everywhere, all over his hands, all over his face and it's hard to watch him get messy, but it's important for him to get that sensory part. Definitely. <laughs> Speaking of different sensations, I think I'm gonna try this, what is it? Some sticky, sticky peanut butter. Maybe I'll try that on a piece of celery to create my next bug snack. And I think I might go some cream cheese. Do you like cream cheese? I do like cream cheese. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to put on some of my different snacks. I like it on a rice cracker. Oh, this peanut butter looks <laughs> delicious. Very, very sticky. And this is one of those foods that, that kids kind of love to touch and love to, um, love to eat as well. Now, what animal do you think this one looks like? Oh, I think we have a couple with peanut butter. Mm. So this one is a bit of a butterfly. I might do the butterfly actually. I love a good butterfly. One of my favorite books to read is The Hungry Caterpillar. I love reading that book with some of my kiddos. Um, That's one of my favorite books. We don't have any pretzels, so I'm gonna roll into... <laughs> oh, thank you. We've got pretzels. <laughs> and I might start with this one, who's in, which is another sort of caterpillar with some cherry tomatoes and some chives. That one looks really, really, yeah, really, really good. Now, when our little ones are at school or whether they're at kindy, what kind of foods do they need to keep going all day? Because it's a very long day when you're at kindy and you're at school. Yeah, definitely. I think 
um, some of the well, some of my nieces and nephews they they love they love their fruit especially they love having a little bit of fruit, a little bit of yogurt, um, and, a, and a good sandwich as well. Something with with a little bit of fiber, with some carbs. Their favorite toppings at the moment are ham and cheese, um, which again is something that yeah something that they love to be involved in they love to be involved in actually making um their yes. food and making their sandwiches and kind of seeing their lunch boxes packed as well which is really exciting for them that's very important i think getting our little ones involved in making their own foods because then they can see what they're doing and they can you know get all of that important knowledge out of what foods that they're eating and their fine motor skills as well i think that's very important yeah well, that's us done with making our insect snacks if you make any insect snacks drop a comment in our comment box and send us a photo thank you